If you only knew the power of the dark side, it is your destiny. Hello everyone, this is Take the Gate. It is July 1st, 2014. And I'm bringing you an article out of the San Francisco Gate, NBC, and Navy Mill, I believe. And a Navy SEAL has yet again died under an accident. His name is Bradley S. Kavner of California. The Navy has released the name of a decorated Navy SEAL who died from a parachute jump accident in Southern California. He was injured during a training jump on Monday in El Centro. Carvner was injured during a training jump on Monday in El Centro, the city about 100 miles east of San Diego near the Mexico border is home to Naval Air Facility El Centro. The cause of the accident is under investigation. He held a Bronze Star Medal with Combat V, which is awarded for acts of valor in combat. However, the Navy did not provide details of his service, and I'm going to play a little bit of this clip here. Patriotism surround you in Coronado. Tonight, the naval town is mourning the death of one of their homegrown patriots, their native son, Chief Petty Officer Bradley Kavner. I'm still devastated, uh, heartbroken. I think the only reason I can't cry anymore is because I've cried so much. The 31-year-old SEAL killed Monday conducting parachute training jumps in El Centro. Kerry Carty became friends with Kavner right around the time he enlisted in the Navy back in February. So he died on June 23rd in a training exercise for the Navy SEALs. So this is on NBC. It's written by Omari Fleming and Monica Garski. And she explains that they went over and spent a lot of time in Iraq and Afghanistan. And to see these struggles people are going through, they want them to have the same freedoms and life we do, she said. That's what they fought for, and he fought for every day. Thank you for your service to the country. Thanks for being a great ambassador for our city. Rogan added. JT Rogan being a high school football teammate. So this is Navy Mill. Chief Special Warfare Operator Bradley S. Kavner, 31 of Coronado, California, died from injuries sustained during an accident while conducting parachute jump training operations in El Centro, California during June 23rd. They call these evolutions. The training SEALs go through is inherently high risk, said Commander Christian A. Dunbar, Naval Special Warfare Group 1's Chief Staff Officer. Bradley was a warrior who was selflessly answered his nation's call to defend freedom and protect us. Kavner enlisted in the Navy on February 3, 2003 and graduated from boot camp at Recruit Training Command in Great Lakes, Illinois in April 2003. In July 2004, Kavner completed basic underwater demolition, SEAL and SEAL qualification training in Coronado with Class 247. He has served with the West Coast-based SEAL unit since August 2004. His decorations include the Bronze Star Medal with Combat V, Navy Marine Corps Commendation Medal with Combat V, Army Commendation Medal, Joint Service Achievement Medal, Navy Marine Corps Achievement Medal, Combat Action Ribbon, Navy Good Conduct Medal, National Defense Service Medal, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, Iraq Campaign Medal, Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, Sea Service Deployment Ribbon, Navy Marine Corps Overseas Service Ribbon, and NATO Medal. Kavner is survived by his parents, sister, and two brothers.
an investigation is still being conducted to determine the cause of the accident. So I will leave a link to this at the bottom and this just reminds me of the Navy SEAL who was attacked in a drive-by style shooting outside of a supermarket. This is Take the Gate. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Signing out.